Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm Rob Reef. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm inside my studio here this morning uh, getting ready to ship a painting. That's right, this little fella right here uh, just sold. Um, I had a customer on my Etsy uh, page actually, at my Etsy shop actually contact me. They saw a completely different painting, uh, but it, it, it was similar to what they were looking for. Uh, so I went ahead and, and, and painted this for them. It's dry now. Uh, they wanted it framed, so I've got it framed. So this is an excellent opportunity to talk about how to ship a framed uh, painting. Now, this is a panel. We're going to do this today, Today, though. I'm going to tell you about all the materials that you're going to need. It's, it's a pretty simple process, but just stick with me as I teach you how, to, uh, how at least I uh, ship a framed painting. Let's go. Okay, so we've got to get a couple things together. We need to get our packing slip, obviously, together that's got all of our shipping information to, to our buyer. Uh, and that's what I'm headed to do now. I'm fixing to head to my office, get that printed out, and just make sure that I'm sending it to the right place. The packing process is uh, relatively simple. We just need a few ingredients. Obviously, we're going to need a box. Now, this one's not beat up. It's just it's it's been it was a box that was sent to me. I've taken all of the uh, obviously all the labeling off from the original sender. I'm a big big believer in recycling boxes. Um, now, what I do a lot of times is I have. Um, uh, obviously, I purchased canvases from either Dick Blick or Jerry's Artorama or even uh, I'll buy them directly from Masterpiece Canvases. And what I do, if I get a box in even from Amazon, I save it. Uh, so I have just storage full of boxes simply for the purpose of being able to then reship paintings. Uh, so if you order a canvas online, um, that's, that's just even better. It works out even better for you because then it's that box is specifically um, sized for that exact painting. If you have recycling centers in your area, you certainly can uh, go and try to find a box that, that fits uh, the exact specifications. And you can always cut one down. I've done that many times. Um, it's uh, not the prettiest way to do it, but, but it is a way. Um, I prefer to just get a box that's already been folded and is pretty set for the size that I need. So we gotta have the box. We're going to need, obviously, the painting, <laughs> gotta have that, gotta send it. I've got my packing slip uh, that will tell me where to send it. You're gonna need some shipping tape. Uh, I like to use heavy duty scotch shipping. Don't go cheap with your tape. Uh, you won't have to use as much of it. I think you'll probably actually save some money if you if you stick with just you know a, a, a premium uh, brand. We're gonna need some bubble wrap. I'm going to be using a good bit because my uh, box here is actually a little bit thicker than what the painting is going to be. So, so we're going to have to have the bubble wrap. And here's kind of my secret ingredient. I use uh, parchment paper. Now you're probably wondering what in the world is he doing? We're not baking here. Well, that's, that's certainly true. Um, if you carry paintings at distance, uh, of any kind. Acrylics are probably not as dangerous with this, but oils can be. Uh, and I wouldn't do it with acrylics either. But if you're carrying them any distance or if you're shipping them, you don't want to put bubble wrap right next to the art. Uh, and I've this is just a, a, a thing that I've developed because I'm a little bit paranoid about shipping them as it is. And parchment paper, obviously, you know, that wax base, um, it, it nothing sticks to it. Uh, the oil is not going to get sticky if it's hot. Uh, so, and, and bubble wrap can melt. 
uh, under certain conditions. So you, you really don't want that melting on uh, a painting. So we're gonna get busy and get ready to ship this thing. We'll take our box. Again, I'm using a recycled box. Um, I, let me make a note while we're here, while, while we are at this point. If you are shipping a large painting, anything I would say over an 18 by 24, certainly anything like a 30 by 40, a 48 by 60, you know, 36 by 48, anything large, carry it to a pack. Uh, I carry mine to a, a company called Pack Mail. Carry it to a shipping service place, a facility that actually will crate it, crate it for you, custom crate it. Now you're gonna have to spend money on that. That's gonna cost, but you will end up with a much, much safer uh, way to ship. For these small paintings though, there's no need in that. It's more, you're, you're more than capable of shipping this on your own. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna move the box out of the way for just a quick second. We've got our painting. I've got a brand new box of parchment paper which may take me a second or two to open because I'm terrible at opening this stuff. Okay, well, that one worked out pretty well. And if you've never used parchment paper before in baking, you may not know what it is. It's just a, you can, you can use this instead of, uh, for baking, you can use it instead of uh, putting grease on a, on a pan. You can actually just put the par parchment paper down and nothing sticks to it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to worry with getting a bunch of this on here. And I'm just going to rip this by hand. Okay, I'm not worried about how pretty this is. Make sure it's got a you know a tight, relatively tight hold on the the frame itself. Okay. Now I've got a piece of bubble wrap here. Now what this what this is doing? This is just going to again if this presses up against the the painting itself, which is already dry, it's not going to stick to it if it gets too hot. And if you put the straight bubble wrap on you would run into that problem. Always be careful with it, don't go too fast. Luckily, this fits this perfectly, that bubble wrap. I just happen to have that laying around, that bubble wrap. Normally, I would take a big roll like this and just wrap it. You know, it, which it wouldn't be in, a, in an envelope shape, but this works out great. So, I've got the parchment paper on first, then I've got the bubble wrap. So next step, lay your box down. We're going to get a strip of bubble wrap. You could use scissors and make this really nice and really, really uh, clean cut. Lay that in there first. I'm going to take the packing slip next and lay that in there. And I forgot one last thing, one nice little touch that I like to do. I almost always put in one of my business cards with every single order. Okay? So just lay that in there. Okay. Now, we're using, this was actually a linen panel. So, in that, we're using a panel, we're, we're very safe already. 
for the mere fact that the panel itself is not going to get punctured by anything. Uh, of course, the box is going to protect it to start with. But if you're if you're sending a canvas, a stretched canvas, that's a different story, and you you really need to pay attention. Maybe put a piece of cardboard over it and under it just to protect the surface, uh, and then you would put the bubble wrap on. And I may do another video of how to send a stretched canvas rather than just a panel. But we're the frame itself is going to help us just keep this thing steady during the shipping process. I know a lot of you are probably wondering, well, how do I ship a, a painting that's not framed? It's the exact same way, okay? No difference whatsoever. Uh, I normally ship paintings without frames. It just so happened that this customer wanted a frame and that was what I had to do to close the deal. So I did it, I charged him a little bit for it, but it worked out. All right, I'm gonna get a pretty big slice of bubble wrap and I'm just going to fold it over and I'm just going to start layering it on top and we'll do one, one more sheet probably And there we are. I'll take this thing up and I'll be ready to ship it. That's that. That's how you, that's how you ship, uh, package and ship um, a painting that is already framed. I hope you've enjoyed this painting tip. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying my, my painting videos, my painting tip videos, if you want any, any information, any uh, little bit of insight into the little limited bit of knowledge I've got in the world of painting, please be sure and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon. Um, that'll just make sure that you get notified anytime I upload new content. And I am uploading new content each and every week, if at all possible. So just hit that subscribe button. Till next time, I'm Rob Reed. Keep painting and God bless.